The difference between a partial hip replacement and a total hip replacement is that partial hip replacements only replace the ball portion of the ball and socket joint. It leaves the, the pelvic area um, completely alone. Um, and that's actually not a very common procedure anymore. It's typically used for elderly patients that have hip fractures. So um, it's a little bit less invasive. You know, it's, it's a situation where we're trying to treat a fracture that won't otherwise heal well. Um, and we do that in patients that are either too elderly to, to do well or to, to require a full total hip replacement or people that have very minimal arthritis. Partial knee replacement works for people who only wear out one half of their knee. And it's a very successful operation for that right group of people. A hip is different. A hip is a ball and socket. When it wears out, the entire joint is affected. The entire joint wears out. So for treating a hip for arthritis, a full hip replacement where we replace the worn out socket with a, a metal cup with a plastic liner into it, and we replace the worn out ball with a ceramic ball that will match against the cup, is a much more successful operation. It relieves the pain. But for someone who's young or active or has a, a reasonable life expectancy, we found a full hip replacement is more predictable and more successful at relieving pain.